wonder, what's the weirdest present that you've ever received? Maybe you can cast your mind back and think about a Christmas present or a birthday present that you had and you opened it and you were just so shocked and stunned and bewildered and confused by the gift that was inside. Have you received any weird presents? Well, in the Christmas story itself, in the nativity story, there's a story of a strange present being given and received. If you cast your mind back to the nativity story, we see that wise men from the east saw a new star appear in the sky that meant that the promised saviour of the world had been born. So they set out and followed the star and found Jesus born as a baby, God himself being born as a baby, entering our world. And these wise men gave Jesus some presents. And one of the gifts that they gave him was myrrh. This is maybe the first century equivalent of getting a baby funeral insurance. Myrrh was used, uh, it was a, a spice, is a very strong perfume that was used to prepare a dead body before it was sealed away. That's the gift that the wise men brought this baby Jesus. Well, why did they do that? They had to have had a reason. Well, they did. The wise men knew that Jesus was born for a purpose. They knew that Jesus was born to die. See, Jesus did live an extraordinary life. He performed miracles. He healed the sick. If you've never read it for yourself, can I encourage you this Christmas time to look into it a bit further and read from first-hand accounts of all that Jesus did when he was alive. He lived a crazy, wild, brilliant life and he died an extraordinary death too. 30 or so years after the wise men give Jesus myrrh. He's murdered. He's crucified. It's an awful, horrendous death with nails being driven through his hands and his feet as he hung there on a cross. That was the thing that the wise men knew would happen. He was born to die, but why? It doesn't make any sense. Why would God enter the world as a baby just to die 30 years later? Well, one of Jesus's closest friends um, in his biography of Jesus's life writes this. To all who receive Jesus, he gave the right to become children of God. This was why God became human in the first place. This is why Jesus was born, to die so that we may become children of God. If we receive Jesus, if we decide to follow Jesus, then on the cross, when he hung there, he took all of the things that currently prevent us from having a relationship with God. All of our failure, all of our pride, our guilt, our shame, every time that we've hurt someone else. He bore that on himself. He took away those things that stop us from being in a relationship with God so that we could know God, so that we could become children of God. But you notice that John writes to all who receive him, he gave the right to become children of God. This relationship with God can only happen if you receive him. And what's the alternative to receiving Jesus? It's rejecting him. I wonder, is this a decision that you've already made, maybe even without realising it? Are you rejecting Jesus? Or have you received him? and have been restored to a relationship with God. And we know 
that death wasn't the end for Jesus, that death couldn't hold him and three days later he rose again so that all who receive him can have everlasting life in him. This Christmas time, why don't you think over this decision for yourself? Have you decided to receive Jesus, the Jesus who died for you? Thank you.